You wake up, you're hungover as shit. Do I look too hungover? What do you want? Vodka? Shot of vodka? Yeah, definitely. But also some bacon. <laughs> I would like some bacon. How about a Bloody Mary? How about some Irish sausages? Maybe a full English. Maybe a full Irish. We got the eggs, we got the bacon, we got the sausage, the mushroom, the tomato, the pudding. We got the white pudding and the sausage fat in the milk vodka, in the tomatoes, coriander. Well, what we did, also getting some inspiration from online, is we took a Bloody Mary and we crossed it over with a full Irish breakfast. So we made the ultimate hangover cocktail for you to try. And what we're gonna do in this video is show you how we made it. Done. I'm taking the bacon. We are about to make and, and prepare, you've been seeing all the little bits and pieces, but preparing the ultimate hangover cocktail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Irish breakfast, because I am Irish, although he is English and English. I don't know if a full English and, and then Irish Bacon. coffee with a full Irish. You can get that in England. Black pudding, you can yeah. get that in England. Mushrooms, you can get that in England. Tomatoes, you can get that in England. These little weird sausages are Irish. I think they're genuinely What do you mean Irish little brand? weird sausages? The Clonakilty, this is Clonakilty pudding Clona as well. And the Clonakilty pudding is probably yeah, some of the cool. best some of the best black pudding I've ever had. And we have some very nice butchers in London, so I've had some very fancy black pudding before. Oh, there but you go. This, I think, just beats them all. It's sensational. Yeah. It is. So look, we're going full Irish, although I don't know the history between full Irish and full English, who come up with it, but I do remember one of my business partners, William Fielding, we're in Ireland, and he walks up, we're, uh, we're at the train station, and he walks up and he goes to the guy, he goes, um, I, they had like a, obviously all the little pieces of an English breakfast or, or a breakfast in general, like you know, a buffet. Will goes up and goes, yeah mate, oh, I'll just have a full English. And he goes, you mean a full Irish? He goes, yeah, one of those. Because <laughs> I mean, he didn't realize it was his first time in Ireland. He didn't know that we also had a full Irish breakfast. So we're doing a full Irish mixed with a Bloody Mary. Boom. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build it, I believe, in this Heinz tin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I think mine's probably going to go into that one. Okay, cool. So we'll put you there. Mm -hmm. I might give you... I'll get I've already cut my hand yeah. on this little bad boy, so guys, be safe. Or just don't try this at home. Yeah, don't do Maybe that. Maybe just serve it into a glass. Yeah, we'll garnish at the end. We'll take these out for now. We've got our bit of garnishes here. So we are going to shake it up. We're going to put the egg in, so it's going to be a simple recipe. Now, what we do have is we have this... Um, Iced coffee. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah, we have this vodka. Now, where's my strainer? Here it is here. With this vodka that we made earlier. I've fried off some Irish sausages and I fried off some Irish white pudding and I got the fats from them. And I'm gonna infuse that fat into a vodka that's been made wholly from milk. It's been distilled from milk. Obviously milk being the breakfast tea part of the, uh, of the breakfast, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to three to one ratio on this. Uh, you can do, you know, play around with it for yourself. I like a three to one ratio. So I'm gonna go three shots of the vodka. I'm just putting it into a mason jar. You can use obviously any mason jar that you've got in the house uh, if you have one. Ideally something that can take a bit of heat. What I've done with the, with the fat is I've warmed it up a little bit, but not overly, just enough that it's liquid, right? And I'll pour the fat in here. There's a little bit of obviously um, residue, if you want to call it, from, uh, from the cooking. So I just got this little tea strainer and you can chuck the fat straight in but basically what you do is you give it a quick shake let it sit for about an hour or two and then stick it in the freezer and what will happen is is that once it goes in the freezer the fat is going to naturally come to the top and it's going to freeze and then we can peel the fat off and then the flavors of the irish sausages and the white pudding will be infused into that milk vodka we'll strain it here mm -hmm. i can see it straining yeah <laughs> good all right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna taste this, Mr. Solomon, because you know what? You've never tasted a pork sausage, Irish sausage, Irish pudding infused vodka. No. Milk vodka. But I am on a high fat diet, so this is perfect. But nor have I, so. Give me that in my mouth. Put it on my hand then. I don't wanna, fuck it. Wow, that's really good. Here, I'll give you a separate spoon. Just because oh, you have uh... Damn it, how can I do that? Because I, I forgot I was actually tasting vodka. You got it? Here we go. So you're basically tasting pure vodka, but it's been infused with some nice pork fat, uh, some, some obviously some Irish sausage fat, Clonakilty sausages. Oh, yeah, meaty vodka. Mm. Meaty vodka, it, but it's nice because it's it gives you this roundness across the tongue, so it's actually quite nice. So we've got our vodka here, so let's break this bad boy down. So we're gonna build it in the Boston. That's we're gonna right. build two of them. We're gonna do them both in one because we're basically doing the exact same thing. Exactly, now look, the, the quintessential Bloody Mary recipe, I think it was from 19, 
They're all like the 1920s, 1930s. I think it was a French guy, Fernando Pinois. I'm probably miles wrong on that name, but I'm guessing that from memory. Uh, and I believe he was at Harry's Bar in Paris. Uh, if you've ever been to a Harry's Bar, I've been to Harry's Bar in Rome, I've been to Harry's Bar in Venice. The Harry's Bars were great, but especially back in the, you know, the roaring 20s and the 30s and whatnot. And what he used to do is he would do two parts tomato juice to one part vodka. So double the tomato juice wow. to the vodka and then all the other bits that go in. So if we're basing it on the initial Bloody Mary, let's build it with the initial Bloody Mary. We're gonna go a little bit with our Maybe spice. We're gonna take some tomatoes, much like these little bad boys. We're gonna take some coriander, fresh coriander, cilantro to the guys in America. And those guys, if you didn't know, are chilies. Well, well done for that, Sol. Mm -hmm. Good on you. We'll just, yep. we'll just take the top off these. Roughly, roughly chopped. We're gonna keep all the seeds in. We're gonna blend it all up. We're gonna use the stalks as well. Stalks have more of the flavor of coriander than pretty much anything. Correct. Uh, then, then the leaf. We're gonna put a little bit of liquid in there just to get it going and a pinch of sea salt. A little bit of green liquid from our friends over at the spot. That's it. <laughs> oh no, wait, sorry, I got it wrong. Tesco's. You can beep that bit out if you want. We're gonna taste, see where it's at, see if she needs more. My taste buds are shot, so I can't even taste that. Well, it's gonna taste like what you just had. Wanna add some of this into it? Oh. <laughs> I love the heat. You wanna add some of that? Well, we will. <laughs> we will, I just wanted to uh, see how much heat yeah, was in there. Yeah, we definitely will. You never, know, you never know with chili, because you never know how hot the pepper is. Um, I mean, that one's pretty hot. Here's what we're gonna do, we're, we're adding the egg white, probably against our own better judgment, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna give it a dry, what? we'll give it a dry shake first, and dry then shake. we'll give it a quick wet shake exactly. with the ice, and yeah. then we'll, one part beautiful, fatty, vodka. Fodka. Fodka, and we're gonna do two parts tomato juice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's gonna be the start of our deal. Remember, this is we're doing for two, right? So I, I've never had a Bloody Mary with a single vodka in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in of this spice mix that you guys already know, and it's quite it is quite spicy. I think two of these. What do you reckon, Souls? Absolutely for starters, because we don't want to go too far. It could do it a little bit more spice, but there's definitely some of it there. Ooh. Actually, a little bit of sweet as well, I think, mm. is needed. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of, I think, either garlic salt or celery salt if we can. Maybe that Nando's Peri Peri over there. Magically, we've just got ourselves celery salt, garlic salt, which Solly was wanting, and we also have some normal salt, because it does need a little touch, and we've also got some Worcestershire sauce, which it definitely needs as well. Do you want to work on the celery and the garlic? Which one would you prefer, a normal salt? Let's, oh, I'll, I'll do two parts garlic. No, two parts celery, actually. Actually, I'm not even going to measure it, fuck it. Ooh. Pardon my French, guys. Sorry, kids. It's a problem when Sally starts drinking wine, beer, and tequila. Tequila and, and whiskey. <laughs> Go on. I love garlic. Garlic's great. Even if you're kissing, do it anyway. I'm not a fan of garlic in a bar in a drink like this because garlic's not really a breakfast deal. But just love it. Oh man, that's definitely try that. It's a great sauce, right? You're welcome. That stepped up a whole new level. Put garlic in anything, guys, and I swear down. It wasn't the garlic, it was the celery salt and the pinch of the salt. Boom. Cool. Did we put any Tabasco in? Probs not. No, we're not, because there's enough heat coming in from this mix here that we did with the chilies and the coriander and the uh, tomatoes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it a dry shake with some egg white. And uh, so we got the eggs, we got the bacon, we got the sausage, the mushroom, the tomato, the pudding. We got the white pudding and the sausage fat in the milk vodka, in the tomatoes, coriander, tomatoes, I said that already. There's lots of it in there. Let's roll. Ooh, it's gonna be delicious. All right, dry shake done. Time to wet shake her up there, salts. Yeah, nice. Are you gonna just do a little one? I think it should be a gentle one, to be honest. I agree. And why don't you ice up? While you're doing that, I'll ice up. Thank you. Time to what to do, Sally. Don't forget, guys. Very the bad. real boss. Sal's the real boss. Back here. I actually might put a little bit of lemon in mine. Yeah, I wouldn't actually think it's a bad idea. It might just break down some of that background heat. Boom, baby. See? Wow. Magic hand soul. That's what that they call good. me. <laughs> Magic, that's what she calls yeah, it. Yeah, that's what she calls me. Um, <laughs> best compliment ever. God, cool. your hands are like a lesbian. 
<laughs> Could you just <laughs> squeeze the lemon in? Probably cut that bit out, yeah. Do we have an elbow? Mexicano? We do have it here somewhere, but... Oh! We've been drinking a little bit. Absolutely not. I've been working all day, so no drink for Sol. Good Very man. responsible. Well Solomon. You ready, Mr. Souls? Yes. We will garnish in a minute. Something smells amazing, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. I like leaves. Leafy, leafy celery. Nice. And then I'm gonna go like that. Well, I would probably put it in. Mm, let's go this way. <laughs> This is just for presentation, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna drink it in one moment when I start drinking. <laughs> Pretty brash, just like the man <laughs> <Yeah>. himself. <laughs> so this is the Irish cocktail, is it? It looks great. Presentation is nice, let's try it. Ooh, that is really nice. I like Bloody Mary's and that's got some lovely elements of Bloody Mary in there. Out of 10, I'm gonna give this one a 8.8. .8. Do I look too hangover? Okay. So ultimate hangover cocktail. I'm a big fan of Irish breakfast. I'm not a big fan of Bloody Mary. So let's try. My score is eight. Eight. Firstly, Nice looking cocktail. I'm a big Heinz baked, bean, baked beans fan. Now, us Australians, firstly, have our big beans cold. We don't heat them up. That's the big tip, everyone. And let's have a taste, shall we? That's got a nice kick. That's really good. Do I get to eat it? Eat the bacon? There's some in there. There's bacon in there. Yes. That is the perfect hangover cure. Irish breakfast in a can, 8.5. Done. I'm taking the bacon. Score was 8.4. So it goes to number one above the margarita. That's, that's two that have scored in the eights. We haven't had whiskeys that barely score in the eights. Best score we've ever had. Now, a quick shout out to the people who gave us the inspiration for this, which was the guys at Victory Mansions. I think it's an East London kind of gastro pub. They came up with their version of it. We've slightly altered it and changed it, but it was their inspiration. Go check it out and get the original. I never tried it there. We just seen an article and then we were like, hey, we should do this with an Irish breakfast and then change it up a bit because this is the ultimate hang. It's a bit of a tough one. Though. So this is probably something you're only going to make if you're already making a breakfast because yeah. it's a lot of effort it is. to go to for a Bloody Mary. So if I was hungover, I'm either going to go to a you know, cafe and get brunch and have a Bloody Mary or I'm going to make one at so home. Good. But if you're already making the breakfast, why not just dip it? Oh my you know god. I mean? just, just dip it like this. The sausage is phenomenal. Oh my god. All right, guys, so if you like that, definitely shout down in the comments any of the cocktails you'd like to see us make. We're going to be doing a few kind of out there cocktails and then a few quintessential classics. The crazier the better. But yeah, the crazier the better for sure. I know I want to do one with cotton candy at some point. I love Jolly Ranchers. Uh, they're an American candy, and if you take them and put them in a little cotton candy wheel and let them spin, you can get cotton candy from Jolly Ranchers. Put that no in a cocktail, that's coming. No sure. idea what he's talking about. Anyway, guys, uh, this was a great cocktail. Like I said, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, that's cool. Comment below. We love the comments. We'll keep them coming. We like the cocktail channel. It's keep a bit of fun. Keep them coming. Cheers. Bye.